So today we're going to talk about balancing rations again. This is just another example of how to do that so that you can work more on the math. Alright, so step one again is what is our e energy requirement? For this example, I chose a two-year-old Appy Draft Cross or Appaloosa Draft Cross who will have a mature weight of about 1,320 pounds. He is currently in training and therefore according to the table from appendix table 4-600 his requirement is 32.3 megacals of digestible energy per day. So what are we going to be feeding and what is the digestible energy in it? Uh, for this I again have chosen Timothy grass hay pellets which has two megacals per pound of digestible energy this coming from the appendix table six under grasses it has ninety five percent dry matter and i went with the highest percentage um, there because it is a pelleted feed which means it's more dehydrated than just straight hay has eleven percent crude protein has point four five percent calcium and point two six percent phosphorus so how many pounds does he need to meet the energy requirements? So if we take what he needs, which is 32.3 okay, so megacals we're, we're per day, for the crude and protein. we divide it by so what the he's pellets have, grams of crude protein which is short. 2 megacals per the pound, alpha hay then has on a dry matter basis, so we're going to take this horse needs 16.15 pounds of which pellets gives us per day. Grams now of remember, we need to add what little bit of moisture there is in there back into it so we get our as-fed. So we have the poundage, which means we grams need to divide by 16.15 by the 95% dry matter. And he needs 17 pounds of hay or pellets on an as-fed basis. Pounds now, of can, he as pounds now of can he eat this much? Well, remember, when we do our energy requirements, we do this for a mature weight. As he's two years old, he's not at his mature weight. He weighs about 850 right now. So in order for us to decide if he can eat the 17 pounds, we have to take his current weight times 2% of his body weight, which equals 17. So yes, he could possibly eat the 17 pounds of Timothy pellets. But now we still have to decide, is he meeting his calcium, uh, phosphorus, and crude protein requirements? So he needs 1,372 grams of crude protein, again from the table 4-600. He needs 43 grams of calcium and 24 grams of phosphorus. The pellets have, according to table 6, the 11% crude protein, 0.45% calcium, and 0.26% phosphorus. So we're going to figure out the crude protein first. So we're feeding him 17 pounds of the pellets. It has 11% protein, so we multiply that. And this comes out to 1.87 pounds of crude protein. Now we need to get to grams to know if we're feeding him enough. So we have to take 1.87 pounds and divide it by 2.2 kilograms per pound because we should know from middle school and high school that there are 2.2 kilograms per pound. That's just something you need to know. So when we divide the 1.87 divided by the 2.2, we equal 0.85 kilograms of crude protein. Then we have to multiply that by 1,000 in order to get grams, and so we have 850 grams of crude protein in our Timothy pellets. Now he needs 1,372, so he's obviously not getting enough. We're going to figure the calcium and the phosphorus next. So calcium is 17 pounds times the 0.45% which gives us 0 0.0765 pounds of calcium. Again, working through the math to get to grams, this will give us 35 grams of calcium. And he needs 43, so he's still not getting enough. And for the phosphorus, we have 17 pounds again times the 0.26%, which gives us 0 0.0442 pounds of phosphorus. Work through the math again, and that gives us 20 grams of phosphorus, and he needs 24, so he's not quite getting enough of that either. So, what do we do? We have to decide to add what to the diet. We need to balance for crude protein this time instead of energy, since his energy requirement is being met with the pellets. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to decide what to add to him. So, for this example, um, I have chosen alfalfa hay, early bloom. So we're going to figure out how much of the crude protein he's short. So we take the 1,372, which is needed, minus the 850, which is provided in the pellets, and we get 522 grams of crude protein short. So then we're going to figure out that 
Um, according to the table, the hay has 1.1 megacals per pound, 20% protein, 1.4% calcium, and 0.3% phosphorus. So to figure for the crude protein, we're going to take the 522 grams of protein that he needs, because that's how much he's short. We're going to divide that by the 20% in the hay, and he's going to need 2,610 grams of alfalfa hay. Now we're going to go backwards here to find out how many pounds of hay that is. So we take the 2610, divide that by 1,000 to get kilograms. That's 2.61 kilograms. Then we're going to multiply that by the 2.2 because, again, there are 2.2 kilograms per pound, which equals 5.72 pounds of alfalfa hay. Okay, so now we're going to figure for calcium, and we have figured out that we need 5.72 pounds of alfalfa hay to meet his protein requirements, and we're going to see if this will meet his calcium and phosphorus as well. So if we have the 5.72 pounds of hay times the 1.4% calcium, that gives us 0 0.08 pounds of calcium. Divide that by the 2.2 kilograms per pound again, that equals 0 0.036 kilograms. Then we're going to multiply that by the 1,000 grams to get 36 grams of calcium. Now we're going to add that to the Timothy pellets, so he had 35 grams from the Timothy pellets, He's getting 36 grams from the alfalfa hay, so now he's getting 71 grams of calcium. Well, 71 grams provided in the feed divided by the 43 grams that is required equals 1.65. So he's getting 1.65 times more of what he is needing. This is pretty good. Okay, now for the phosphorus, we're going to do the same thing. 5.72 pounds of the hay times the 0.3% equals... 0 0.017 pounds of phosphorus, work through the math again, you get 8 grams of phosphorus. So in the Timothy, he was getting 20 grams of phosphorus. He's now getting 8 from the alfalfa, which means he's getting 28 total. He needed 24, so this is really, really close, and that is great. Now we have to check our calcium and phosphorus ratio. And we t do that by taking the 71 grams provided in the diet of calcium, divide it by the 28 grams of phosphorus, and that gives us 2.5 to 1, which is really, really close to the 2 to 1, so this is great also.